Should you get the new Segway F40 stand-up scooter that just came out? I'm going to try to show off some of the features, uh, the pros and the cons in this video. But first, before we get into that, let's take a look at the unboxing. So I received this scooter in October of 2021 after backing an Indiegogo campaign uh, way back in June. They actually promised the delivery date of July, um, so <laughs> it was way delayed. Uh, so you can see here we're installing the handlebar. Basically, it's quite simple. You just input four screws on the top and you're good to go. Uh, the price uh, for uh, backing this project early was 900 Canadian about uh, with shipping and tax included. Uh, if you buy in store now, it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive on segway.com. So we're ready to take it out on first ride here, but then we realized that uh, it's speed locked. You can hear the beeping sound in the background here, and that means it's trying to connect to a smartphone to unlock the full potential of the scooter. Um, here you have some close-up shots. Um, it's the uh, first time I'm filming this here. And I was quite impressed with the design. It's very uh, modern looking compared to some of the other scooters, for example, the Segway Max. Uh, we really like the triangle um, layout here on the front. Um, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can use that part uh, as a uh, with, together with a bike lock to lock it in place. Um, the dashboard display here has one button for multi-function and the rear disc brake is comes in handy. Uh, however, there's only one brake lever. There's no brakes on the right side. Um, the charging port here is uh, covered up by this uh, plastic piece and I'm not sure how well this is going to do uh, under um, rainy conditions. Um, so I probably wouldn't suggest riding in the rain. Um, so here we are trying to uh, connect it to my girlfriend's smartphone. And I had the same problem with another Segway product, the Segway C80 um, sit-down scooter. Sometimes it just doesn't connect properly. Um, so what you got to do is you just got to restart the app or restart the scooter. I think uh, for us, we did both and then um, it finally connected properly. So once it's finally connected, the Segway app is going to ask you to update the firmware. Um, and then it's going to ask you to watch a safety uh, video to uh, explain to you all the different functions of the scooter. Uh, again, we had issues with the app here. Um, when, once we finally figured it out, we were able to get the scooter going. And here's my girlfriend going at the full speed that the scooter is able to provide, which is 30 kilometers an hour. As with any uh, personal electric vehicle, you can hear a faint hum of the electric motor when it is in operation, uh, but it's quite quiet. Um, if you're riding this along a busy road, I will be definitely very cautious of cars around you. Um, the 10 inch uh, pneumatic tires do a good job absorbing bumps in the road. We're riding on really um, clear pavement here. To collapse the scooter, you undo the double latch at the uh, joints here and then push down the handlebar. The bell acts as a, um, a connecting point to the rear fenders. And then you can carry up uh, stairs with one hand, no problem. The second day here, we took it out to a park to test some more features of the scooter um, and to unlatch it. It's the same process in reverse. So you undo the bell here, push up the handlebar. Um, first you do the vertical latch. Um, it takes a bit of force actually and then you do Good. the horizontal latch here um, and to get started riding make sure you undo the kickstand and then uh, if you've never ridden a scooter before um, the throttle will not work until you give it a push and then you can engage the throttle and you're on your way one thing I really didn't like about the scooter is the width of the platform is only seven inches. Um, so you can see here, even my girlfriend who has tiny feet can't stand on the scooter with uh, both feet uh, adjacent to each other. They have to be offset like this. Um, she's wearing size six woman's shoes for reference. So this is definitely a scooter I would recommend to uh, somebody on the smaller size um, of the scale. Uh, even though the advertised uh, weight limit is above 200 pounds. 
The motor for the scooter is actually in the front wheel here as opposed to the back, which I thought uh, initially was going to give a jerky motion to the acceleration. Uh, but that proved to be unfounded. It was quite smooth. And the brakes themselves are also quite smooth with no jerkiness at all. In terms of off-road capabilities, here you can see my girlfriend riding on some terrain with uh, loose pebbles um, near the baseball diamond. And they handled that quite well as, um, as well as the actual basically. Um, but when she went off-road and went on grass, it basically went only a few feet and then just kind of sputtered off. Uh, basically because there wasn't enough traction and I, I don't think the motor is strong enough for the uh, loose grass. Um, in terms of the climbing capability, the F40 is rated for a 20% max slope. Um, but keep in mind that any slope that you climb, you're going to lose speed as you're going up. You're not going to be able to maintain that 30 kilometer max, uh, max speed. Uh, the range is rated to be about 40 kilometers um, on one full battery charge and uh, it remains to be seen whether that is true or not because we only got this scooter uh, what's really nice to have is the app, uh, app that they provide so it does um, GPS location tracking uh, together with your phone so you can see where your scooter is as well it has a built-in Bluetooth security lock so you can unlock the scooter um, with your app uh, otherwise it won't go at all um, and then the built-in LED lights are really nice to have and battery charging takes about 6.5 hours and as you're charging the main dashboard actually shows you the battery percentage or you can try uh, check your app to see uh, how much battery is left in. We also got a cheap cell phone holder from AliExpress. Uh, this one collapses down, it's really nice. And in terms of locking the bike, uh, here you can see where the triangle design really comes in handy because you can loop these uh, metal um, cables through and then loop it through any sort of bike lock uh, racks available. Um, I also bought a $20 mechanical disc brake uh, so you can put that on the back uh, through with the cable for some added security. Uh, but keep in mind none of these is going to deter a real thief, it's just for uh, quickly popping in and out of stores basically.